Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, hit the subscribe button to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will be showing you how to round the edges in AutoCAD or how to make fillets. So basically in AutoCAD, what you wanna do is what you need is actually the fillet command which can be located under the modify section over here under the home ribbon and here is the fillet command the shortcut for fillet is F and then you can click enter and that would start the command I'm gonna click escape here just to cancel I created several scenarios on how to use the fillet commands over here and I'm gonna start with this one right here with this basic square that I created here and this one is six inches by six inches. I think I copied this one and got rid of the dimensions. So this is six by six, okay? And we wanna do like a fillet or round kind of the edge, maybe here on the top, right? So let's do that. So F, start the fillet command. And AutoCAD, the first thing it will ask you to do is to select the first object. But before you actually do that, what you want to do is actually go down to the command line section here on the bottom. The command line on my end is actually docked like this. Maybe on your end it looks something like this. So I will show you based on this. So again, the fillet command. And then here you will see on the bottom it says fillet, select first object. And then here you have buttons that you can actually click on to choose different options that relate to the current command. So in our case here for the fillet command, we want to click on radius, all right? And now we want to specify the fillet radius. So I had one inch here earlier. We can change it to a half inch and then click enter. And then now after we specify the radius, we can come and select the first edge and then select the second edge. And now we will get a fillet between these two edges or it will get rounded. Now the fillet command stops actually after you create a fillet. You can't add more fillets right away. You will need to start the command again. So I'll start it from here. And the fillet command actually remembers the last value we put for the radius. So you don't have to come here and set it up every time if you are using the same radius. And because of that, we can just click on this line here and here. And then start the fillet command again and do click on here and here. And if you want to start the command right away rather than go up every time, you can just click enter on your keyboard and that will start the last command we did in AutoCAD, which in our case here is the fillet command. And now we can just click on here and here. And now we have this geometry like this with full rounded edges. And the radius we set up was half inch. All right. So this is one thing to mention about the fillet command. This is how to use it uh, as simple as possible. The next scenario I want to show you is here when you have two lines that are away from each other and how the fillet would work on them. Basically, you can actually do a fillet between these, these two lines. And what, what, it, what the fillet command will do is actually stretch them together to meet and then it will do a rounding between them. So if I click on this line right now, and then I click on the second line, Look what it does. It stretched the two lines to meet and then it does the rounding on them. So this is a pretty cool feature. All right. Now, the next thing I want to mention about the fillet command is that be mindful if you're doing fillet for objects that already have dimensions on them. The dimensions might actually miss the reference of the points it was referencing and it might actually jump like reference a separate point or even become zero or or it might jump beyond the drawing you will see you, you'll probably see the situation or you might have already seen it so just be mindful of it is when you're rounding uh, objects with dimensions either get rid of the dimension first and then put it again or just move the dimension a little bit above and then bring it back in and to show you i want to show you what happens so i'm gonna select the fillet here and then i'm gonna click on this line and this line and in this case what happened is that this dimension line extended to this point all right and drafting wise this is not good because this line can be confusing now if it's coming in here so that was one scenario another one can happen let's see here if we click on here and here 
and here we go the the dimension itself it jumped to the next available point and now it's measuring five and a half but what I want to measure here is the overall so this can cause problems so just be mindful when you are doing fillet for objects that already have dimensions on them all right the next scenario I wanted to show is when you do a fillet uh, for an area that has a hatch applied so I'm gonna start the fillet command here then I'm gonna click on this line and this line and and I'm gonna choose line because we have two objects on top of each other I'm just gonna say I'm trying to touch the line and notice here when you have this area the hatch itself that's inside the boundary does not actually uh, get trimmed or become or it doesn't get filled the same as the the lines that you just created so uh, the, it doesn't get filled just like the lines that we have here so what you want to do is either delete the hatch and recreate it again so what you want to do is uh, sorry either either delete the hatch and and then put it put it again in the geometry um, or don't put the hatch on until you do all like the all the fillet and everything and just leave the hatch creation till the very end I'm just gonna click here and now we have a proper hatch here all right so these were the different scenarios related to the fillet command what I want to show you here is about for example creating edges so let's say I want to do a fillet here so these are just like drawing scenarios um, here I have like small details or sections of edges and then I'm just gonna do fillet here and then I'm gonna go to radius I'm gonna click here and then let's say um, one inch and I'm gonna click from here to here and what will happen is that we will only have half inch on this portion so we can actually round that um, and by just changing the radius to half and then we can do something like this this kind of edge alright so that was one fillet and this was another fillet with a different radius now this one we can make it fully round for example we're gonna go to fillet hit radius and then change this to one and a half radius and then when I click here and here it will pretty much eliminate completely the other edge that we had here and now we have this kind of edge and then if we want to do something different I'm gonna do fill it and I'm gonna do half the distance so we get like a really nice round uh, edge over here I'm gonna change the radius and I'm gonna type 0 0.75 and I'm gonna click here and then click again enter and here we go we get these this kind of edge so these are just like different drawing scenarios the last thing I want to mention in this video is that when you're trying to do uh, a fillet and it doesn't work it shows you like a little warning like oh this is not gonna happen so let me show you this so let's start the fillet command F enter and then I'm gonna select the radius by the way you can click with your keyboard arrows uh, if you click the bottom arrow going down arrow it will give you the list here of the options for the command then you can change the radius here alright so what I'm gonna change the radius here is for example to 8, 8 inches and 8 inches is actually bigger than the square we originally had here which is 6 by 6 so when I try to do the fillet between these two lines we will get this warning we will just get the the stop sign and it says fillet radius is too large so if you're not able to do a fillet most likely it's because the radius you are choosing is too big all right and that this is one like troubleshooting scenario another one for the fillet is that you try to do the fillet but you don't see any change happening and most likely the scenario is because the radius is set as zero so if I click here and here it does a fillet but there's no radius attached to it so literally there's nothing visible to to see about the fillet so just be mindful to always change the radius first and then go ahead with the fillet all right and that was it regarding using the fillet command in AutoCAD and how to make round edges. Mm -hmm.